Welcome to the Joyish Kingdom. In today's video, we will be doing a brutally honest review on a project that launched a long ass time ago that I was supposed to review and I forgot. It's called Yuvu Crew NFT. It's an anime girl, cute girl type of project. It's actually really interesting. It's followed by some notable people. I hope you're excited to get into it. If you are, smash like in this video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below in the description. You're only hurting yourself you're missing out all the helpful information if you want to get five free stocks use my weeble link it's a crypto and stocks trading platform that's below as well free money for you helps me out directly i appreciate you doing that as always the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day so if that sounds good to you let's get into the video And for any companies or brands you want to get in contact with me, just email me at joyageofficial at gmail.com. Let's get into it. Yubu Crew, verified on OpenSea, 0.19 floor, 4.4 thousand Ethereum traded, 4,000 owners, 9.7 thousand items. This is what the art looks like. Super cute. You know, I may have a crush on a couple of these. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? And this project has actually been a pretty stable project as far as the, as far as like the perceived value, the floor price. Um, if we look at, at their, at their, you know, activity, we can look there. They have random spikes here in between. I'm sure there's a new surrounding them, but they've generally for the most part stuck around anywhere from the 0.1 to the 0.4 range. A couple times really taken off and flying up, I think towards, it looks like an average price of 0.7 almost in the beginning of the year. I'm sure there was something related to the news there. Um, but for the most part, they're hanging out on the 0.1 to 0.3 category here pretty stable not any not any major major things like that except for you know those little spikes in the rounds but this project has always kind of maintained this flow i remember a long time ago i thought you know it's a point two now i'm gonna pick it up when it drops back in the bear market it'll probably come down to like i don't know 0.1 or 0.07 or something like that but i don't think it really ever did so they've been able to hold a pretty strong brand there if we check out their ether scan there is someone with 500 five percent of the entire collection i don't know who this is it might be a staking wall or something i'm not sure uh, but if not five percent is a pretty big i don't know if i call it a whale but it's, it's a lot you know and then under that way it's one with three percent it's definitely more than most prices that i've seen as far as individuals holding a, a shit ton of them but i'm not really surprised with this kind of anime style art this is again this project launched a long time ago if we look at their activity they launched all the way back in september the beginning of september this is like og level project right this is a long 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 time ago and so for them to launch that far back and have that anime style they've been running with that as their brand i'm not surprised there's some people who really fuck with this stuff as you know anime is a massive community and here is their twitter page you recruit 63,000 followers and they do a really really great job of uh of just pushing the brand and building the brand and uh really maintaining everything about it all over their twitter i think they do an excellent job there and if we look at some of the people that they're that are following them that i know tom bilyeu is a pretty notable figure that's following them we got a couple youtubers uh, we got crypto gorilla in here we got session here we got llama in here so, sir hopium so some of my friends in the nft space also follow this project from a long time ago i remember when this was pop, kind of popping back in the day and i also popped into their discord just to check out what it looked like see if there was a million different you know channels and then there were unnecessary it wasn't everything is very organized everything looks good in here the vibes are chilling it's a good time in their discord and they also have some medium articles here they've done some some various collaborations some news stuff like that and so they're keeping up to people up to date with what they're doing this is really important for people who aren't gonna for projects that aren't doing this on their website, I think one that's a mistake. You should be doing these kind of things on your website as well, having a little section for like recent upcoming news and stuff like that. Um, but they also, I mean, they have the median, so that's that's better. Also, going back to their Twitter, I think one thing they could work on is definitely some more video content. You've you've heard me echo this a million times already. I'm, I'm sure it's just, you know, it's, it's got to be common sense at this point for NFT projects. So I would love to see a lot more animated content, a lot more video content. You're missing out. It's anime. I mean, it's like, what are you, what are you doing? You know, like you don't even have to have that much movement. Like the, you just need like the mouse to move a little bit and be like, blah, blah, blah. And they talk. I think they're missing out. I think Fairy Fiends NFT is doing a great job. They've already got animations. They haven't even launched their project yet. So I think for, for older projects with the capital that they've accrued, I mean, look at this volume, 4.4 thousand Ethereum trade. That's a lot of secondary royalties they just got there. They could deploy some of that into video content, I think. Moving on to the website. They've got the Yubu crew, about roadmap team, licensed dressing room, derivative gallery, a lot of things. It's a generative collection of 9,670 avatars inspired by anime, aiming to be both inclusive and expressive. Every Yubu crew NFT is completely unique and features up to nine traits with 120 assets. If we scroll down here, 
We've got the about page. Um, interesting property of the Uwaku is a unique asset generation that involves 25 layers of hand-drawn art. In order to support various kinds of outfits and expressions, the Uwaku collection also supports multiple arm poses, even with sleeve clothes, so let's incorporate several kinds of hand accessories. They launched a long, long time ago. Their mid price is 0.06, um, and then uh, Uwaku holders are free to do anything with their Uwaku under a non-exclusive license. And they're actually, they're spe specifically, they have the Attribution 4.0 International CC by 4.0, free to share, copy, and redistribute the material in any medium or format, and adapt, remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Um, commercially. The licensor cannot re revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms, and the following terms are attribution. You must give appropriate credit, provo uh, provoke... Jesus. Provide a link to the license and indicate if changes were made. You may do so in a reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests the licensor endorses you or your use. So that's important to know. You should probably be checking that out for any NFT project you're a part of before you do anything to kind of mess with it or mess with the metadata or the art. You should probably double check the kind of rights you have. Moving on to the roadmap. Dressing room. Y Fusion updates. Merch. You allows projects. You will loot. Long-term partnerships and artist collabs. And they also have this photo that they ran with. It was a really cool way. To, I think the Lazy Lions also did this with the roadmap. They just made it incorporated into like an art piece here so they've got different things in here there's a little baby kaiju it looks like down here in the corner they've got little figurines they've got uh merch so they're just kind of trying to visually show and this is an ex this is an opportunity for the artist to kind of just express themselves in a different kind of way they also have a dao coming up so really cool and for the dressing room it's a place for where holders can try on different outfits or accessories for any yuu that they own completely off chain and they can just they're just it just opens up a lot of opportunity to kind of dress up your NFT. And the Yubu loot, referring to on-chain stats, gamification, stuff like that. There's also a derivative gallery section on their website. All these different kinds of art. Um, really, really awesome. Is it getting hot in here? Like, and if anyone on the team wanted to come on for a podcast, I've done them with so many projects, uh, including like Doodles, Subducks, Bungi, hopefully getting Dead Villas on very soon. Please reach out to me. I would love to interview anybody on the team. Uh, very interesting project. So we have Laura, the sole artist of Yubu Crew. They, uh, she focuses on semi-realism, 2D animation, character design. She enjoys collecting one-of-one -one anime art, supporting the growth of NFT artists. Here's her Twitter page. She does a great job, I think, with her own personal brand, tweeting, get, engaging, you know, getting just, I don't know, just engaging with the, with the community. I think a lot of founders aren't doing this enough. I think she's doing a great job. Next up, we have Kiwi Solidity Dev, longtime developer in the crypto space, working for NFTX as a lead protocol engineer responsible for the UO crew smart contracts and image gen. This is this Twitter page for Kiwi. Um, again, also does a great job, personal branding, tweeting stuff, engaging with the with the community, stuff like that. Really good stuff there. Morello, bit of everything, works community management, partnerships, project organization for Yuwa Crew. So paper handing blue chip NFTs since February 2021. Avid collector of anime art. Morello's Twitter page here. What it looks like. Cool, cool, cool. Then we have Chase, front end dev, recommended by four out of five people who recommend things. Front end uh, Web3 developer who has passion for DeFi and NFTs. Building websites for you crew and ensures everything is looking slick online. Here's what Chase looks like. Looks like we got a docs face here. Cool stuff. Uh, he could be a little bit more uh, active on Twitter, I, I think. But um, yeah, Cat and Clients. Um, more than anything, Cat loves his mom, Ethan NFTs. Being an early Yuwoo Crew appreciative, uh, appreciator, he helped design and establish Yuwoo Crew NFT collection. Currently focuses on community management, socials, and events organizations. Here's their Twitter page. I think they could be a little bit more active again. This is their Twitter page here. Cool stuff. Next, Oxwave. Uh, math with software engineer and data wizard pertaining to not to be as degenerate as your average JPEG collector. Deeply interested in DeFi NFTs and their intersection. Here's their Twitter page. Cool stuff. Omar community support and events. Turn collector community support and events. Street photographer who enjoys collecting anime inspired NFTs. Helps stre strengthening the community engagement via event hosting, branding, and fun activities. Here's Omar's Twitter page. Right, cha. Danny, collaborations and partnerships. He studied the marketplace trends evaluations from MMO free marketplaces and applied them to the NFT market today. Here's Danny's Twitter page here. Here's Quantum Lee, full stack developer, working with JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Solidity, C+, and Elixir. Respect, I can never do that shit. This is his Twitter page here. He could probably be a little bit more active. And Frozen Loop project manager, looking to keep the team on track, executing all their amazing ideas. Comes from the video game world, and NFTs remind him of the early days of esports. And here's Frozen Loop's Twitter page again. He could also be a lot more active on Twitter. So it's going to bring this review to a close. As far as uh, just constructive criticism, I would say just getting more content, more video content is going to be really important. Post this on Twitter, TikTok, 
YouTube, Insta, uh, everywhere. Just post more content, video content. I would love to see people uh, on the core team talking a little bit more, expressing their own personal brand as much as they can. You know, post selfies, like whatever you gotta do, you know, just to get people to be super involved and feel connected to these people. A podcast would be a great opportunity for that. So again, reach out if you're interested in that. I would love to do that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, y'all subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Help me get there. If you haven't already liked the video, click the like button for me, smash that like button. And if you wanna see another review, let me know which one you wanna see down below if you're not following me on twitter if you're not my discord down below in the description only hurting yourself if you want to get five free stocks five free stocks use my weeble link down below gets you free money helps me out directly it's a crypto and stocks training platform made easy then you better do that if you want to see more of me right now click one of these boxes on the side of me until next time continue on your joyage continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video